Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. Now the most notable features on the Off-Road is its heated front seats, its Bluetooth connectivity, as well as its backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the TRD Off-Road. One of them being is your piano style front grille, as well as your auto daytime running lights, LED headlights, fog lamps, and if we just take a look over on your driver's side, you're going to see your plug-in block heater. On the side here, you'll see your 16-inch aluminum alloy wheels. On your mirrors here, you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your vortex generators. And one of the nice things for the TRD off-road is it does have a smart key system. So with the smart key system, if you wanted to lock all the doors simultaneously, all you have to do is push on these two little lines you see here on the door handle, and it'll lock it up for you. Now if you want to open up the front door for yourself, all you have to do is put your hand between the handle and it'll open up for you automatically. Now this is all possible as long as you have your key fob on you at all times. Now with the Vortex generators, they actually assist with the aerodynamics of the vehicle, and you can find them on your tail lamps as well. And the color we're taking a look at today is Alpine White. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your dark gray, dark gray, sorry, uh, cloth interior seat surfaces as well as your driver lumbar support. Located over on your left hand side, you have your on and off switch for your power outlet as well as your open and closed for your power rear window. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls as well as your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your scroll function as well as your volume control, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth, and then you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now, one of the nice things with the TRD Sport, or I should say TRD Off-Road, is that you also have a push button start. So with that, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now you also have this nice multi-informational display. Now if you take a look at the very top, you're gonna to see your exterior temperature gauge. You also have a digital speedometer. And then you have a couple of other additional features. You can scroll through your navigation, your audio, you can go through your tire pressure monitoring, your messages, and then you can adjust your settings through here as well. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. At the very top you're going to see your apps menu here. Now if you go into your apps menu you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features with your digital clock. And then you have your temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control with your heated seat controls with three different settings depending on how hot you want it. You also have your hazard lights 4x4 selector and your heated mirrors. Down below you'll see your ECT power as well as your USB and auxiliary and your power outlet matted to a six-speed automatic transmission and if we take a look at the very top you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and at the very top you'll see your multi-train select as well as your crawl control feature with your rear differential lock and your traction control on and off finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you have your three-piece bumper now if you damage just the one section you just have to replace the one segment it's one of the things I like with the Tacoma. You also have your seven and your four pin for your towing. Spare tires just located underneath. And then you also have some lighting just located on either side of the rear bumper, just so you can see what you're doing at night. Then you also have your backup camera as well as your lock for your tailgate. And then you have your easy lowering tailgate. So with that, instead of it coming slamming down, it comes down very gently. Now located just over on your right hand side, you have your power outlet just located right here. Now if you ever head out to the cabin or you head out to the lake for the weekend, you uh, have the possibility of plugging in your tools, a mini fridge, or a couple of speakers. Now you also have some storage space just located on your right and left hand side. And then with the off-road you also have a bed rail system located in the back bed. So with the bed rail system you can actually move these cleats to adjust them to whatever setting you need them at or you can remove them all together just in case you do have some cargo that sits a little bit higher. And then you also have some tie downs just located on your left, right, and then you have it at the front and at the back as well. So if you have any loose cargo that's sitting in the back of your bed here, you can make sure it's firmly, uh, firmly secure, sorry, just while you're in transit. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005, or please visit our website at sptoledo.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.